Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This week has been hey, the longest week ever. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. We're having a really relaxing morning. It's about, let's have a look, 10 o'clock. Uh, me and baby boy, if you can hear him panting, uh, we're just playing on the bed. You can see him there. Um, I've just found a really cute clip actually of him doing his tummy time because he's obsessed with looking at himself like in the camera whenever I put the phone up to his face. He just like gets fascinated. So um, if I remember, I'll put that clip in. But yes, yeah, not much planned today. Um, I feel like I say this in every vlog, but I want to finish tidying, hopefully. Um, so yeah, and it's a really lovely day. So we're probably going to walk a little bit later. Dave's home tonight, hopefully. Um, maybe a little bit earlier. It just depends on his work and traffic and things like that. Um, it takes about three and a half, four hours, depending on traffic, to get home from Stoke. So yep, hopefully it won't be too late. Yeah, I need to brush my hair, wash my face. I've just had some coffee and some breakfast. So feeling nice and energized. Um, just figuring out whether little man is tired and needs a nap or if he will be okay in his chair. I think he might be alright in his chair. It's very hard to tell with kids when they get overtired. Um, I don't want to overstimulate him, but I think he's okay. So, yes, I shall do that. Make myself feel a little bit more human, wash my face. And I'll update you guys in a little bit. Baby boy. <gasps> Look at you. So I thought while I've got 10 minutes spare while little man's napping in his pram, I'll show you very quickly. Um, basically just a haul of all the bits that i've managed to find recently i'd say over the last like month or so i've definitely forgotten things uh because it's been a little while like it's quite a collective haul but if you do want to see my hauls as and when i get them i have been posting them over my tiktok so that'll be in the description if you want to go check those out this is my cat luna here she's seen something out the window apparently um so i've got things from sisters and seekers boohoo primark i think that's everything oh pretty little thing as well um a right collection of things i've definitely forgotten stuff like i said but you know things are in the wash things have been worn so we'll start off with primark i've really not had the best luck with primark recently it's just not my season i don't think um but i thought i'd show you the bits i have picked up because i have been loving them there are a few bits that are in the wash currently but like i said if you want to go over to my tiktok you'll see the full haul when i got back from shopping so this was a few weeks ago now but i have seen some in select few primarks in select few sizes now i had to pick this up in double xl because there were no other sizes available. I think people have just gone a bit crazy for it. And it's the kind of semi-dupe of the Zara jacket. I've been trying to get my hands on the Zara jacket for ages, but it's been out of stock. And every time it restocks, I miss it. So I thought this one would do, I actually do really like it. I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It was 35 pounds. And I think the main difference between this and the Zara one is that it's not cropped. It's very, very boxy, quite long. Um, I don't hate that and it's the same sort of faded khaki grey colour so yeah because it's a 2xl it's definitely very very oversized but i can work with that i love my oversized clothes this definitely needs a wash because it does have baby dribble on it so i apologize about that but i love this again i've seen this and some similar ones coming into primarks um just not my primark sadly but i grabbed this in the sale i can't remember how much it was i think i mentioned it in the tiktok but it's just a crop blazer it's the first one i've owned and I think I said in my TikTok, I cannot believe I didn't own a crop blazer before. This is like now become a staple. It's so flattering. I did get this slightly oversized. I got it in a 12. But I really like how it fits because I wanted it to be slightly boxy and not just tight. I'm sure unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen everyone go crazy for all the Primark pyjamas that are in at the minute. And there are some really lovely ones. So I have picked up a few different sets, but my favourite has been this set. So I love their classic like shirt and trousers, you know, like button up shirt um, and trousers sets that you can buy together. But I saw this and they always had different sort of variations of this. Um, these were separate, so you had to buy them separately, but that's easier for me because I can buy different sizes in top and bottom. But it's like black silky shirt. It's slightly more cropped and boxy than the usual ones. And then it had matching shorts or trousers. So love those. And then the last item is a little bit grease because it's been folded up, but 
I picked up a cargo skirt. It's a bit different for me. I don't normally wear skirts either for some reason. I just never veer towards them, but I actually love wearing skirts. I saw loads of people styling this and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try and I do love it. So I got this in a size eight and it comes with like the toggle waist so you can tighten it. Um, yeah, I love this. And you know what, for a tall girl, it's not too short either, which I appreciate. I am five ten and a half, and it doesn't completely leave my ass hanging out. Um, I'll move on to Boohoo because Boohoo are probably have my favorite bits at the minute. So obviously, jumper that I'm wearing this is a staple and um, I got some, some joggers to go with it these were from the tall range and they just have the same little logo under sort of the pocket area living in these then I picked up this set which was inspired by Mia Wooten I cannot pronounce her surname but it's a little bit different for me it's quite colorful compared to what I normally go for but it's like a dark charcoal gray and then it's got this multicolored design on the front and then the joggers have the same logo there these need a wash too apparently i picked up a sweatshirt set this one's cream and then it's got chocolate brown embroidery on it which is so much more my style and this is so lovely but it's just very very brave to wear when you've got a baby um and then joggers just the same and then this set's slightly different because the hoodie is actually cropped and they do this in a few different colorways and i love how this fits i'm definitely going to get a couple of the other colorways when they come back in stock but i got the black with this green because this green is like a staple in my wardrobe i absolutely love it and then again joggers i got a few pairs of trousers to try like i said i'm quite tall and um, in particular my legs are really long so it's very hard to find trousers that fit my proportions um and i thought i'd give boohoo a go i'm very very impressed i'm so impressed like these are the comfiest trousers they fit so well i have worn these so much since i got them so i got these in a size eight and they are sort of wide leg black cargo trousers they kind of feel yeah they're, they're quite thick but they're not stiff so i've actually been reaching for those quite like a quite a bit more than i realized i would and similarly but not quite i got a pair of faux leather wide leg like well i say wide leg they're just straight leg trousers again in a size eight i believe yep when i hold them up they sound quite like paper baggy but when you wear them they're really really comfy and they're quite thin which makes them slightly stretchy so you don't have to worry about them being slightly too tight or anything and they don't cling to all the wrong areas if you know what i mean i'll just rush through very quickly my sisters and seekers bits because i did show them in a uh, vlog the other day just in case you didn't watch that one i picked up this top which i love had my eye on this for so long kept selling out it's like one of their classic ones and this is just perfect like it's just like perfect mum fit chuck on some leggings and you're comfy and then this is probably my favorite thing that i own in my wardrobe right now it's this big oversized well i say oversized i got it in a large um but it's a really heavy jumper it says skr jeans on it i can't tell you how many times i've worn this with leggings with jeans with cargos it's such nice quality it definitely looked more like cream on the website but this is the most flattering thing i'm sure you've seen it i've worn it in my vlogs i've posted it on instagram i cannot fault it and finally i've got a couple bits from pretty little thing that are a slightly different vibe because i've got a couple of potential like occasions coming up so i wanted to get a few things because i have not really been out since before pregnancy like way before pregnancy um so i don't really have anything so i picked up one of the viral everyone's favorite pretty little thing corsets i got the black just because i know that it will go with any any bottoms so i got this in a size eight and i don't have any boobs so this fits great if you have anything on chest area you probably want to size up a size or two um, otherwise you'll feel very very restricted but i do get the hype about it because it's very comfy and very flattering and then i picked this up literally this week as a potential outfit for um i'm supposed to be going out maybe for some drinks with some old friends next time i'm up in stoke visiting dave's family um i wanted to treat myself to a nice new outfit to go out for drinks with the girls with so i've got a co-ord set um it's not the most flattering color on camera almost like stone marbled faux leather material and it's this little stretchy corset it's got very thin boning so it's like keeps its shape but it is stretchy so again you don't feel like you're suffocating in it and then to go with it i got these trousers that match um a little bit different for me because they are low-waisted but they're like straight leg pin up trousers in the same material i tried this on and i do love it um, I actually got these in a size 6. I find pretty little thing sizing can be really, really random. And typically I'm a size 8, but 
they can run quite big sometimes it's really random but yeah um i didn't know how i'd get on with the low waist because it's like a proper v cut but it's actually really really flattering it makes me look like i've got more shape so yeah i've got both of those in a size six um i'm really excited to wear them the only thing with these is they do smell like fake leather like if you've ever had that sort of weird factory fake leather smell it's not nice so if i do decide to keep those i'm probably gonna wash them first I've now brought Arlo upstairs. Um, he was stirring a little bit in his pram, so he's just lying on the bed now, asleep. Um, I've been editing this video and I feel, I just got a sudden wave of like sickness. I think it's probably hunger and tiredness combined. So I've got <clears throat> a little mini M&S food shop coming. Um, yeah, just, a couple of food bits I need anyway um, so I've got some lunchy bits it's about 3 o'clock but I'm going to have late lunch some bits for dinner just so I've got some food in and then we'll probably do a bigger food shop tomorrow once it's gets home so yeah this pairing used to be my go-to lunch when I was in college this is so nostalgic to me but I'm so excited to eat this I'm starving I've had a very quick mum shower um, had some dinner Little man's just lying in his crib, entertaining himself now. Um, did all my skincare, so I feel really good. I'm just going to watch a film. Not sure what yet. Um, wait for little man to settle and then have a nice relaxing night. So this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Friday, I believe, for another video. Thanks for watching.